Welcome back YouTube fans and this is a review of Kamen Rider O's Greed Uva, the insect greed. Uva has the distinction of being the last one I've pr recently bought so he still has his box with him. As you can see the box is pretty standard. It's not like most boxes since this one's meant to be sent directly to you as Uva was a web exclusive. Like many things, a practice I think is incredibly idiotic because it cuts out half your market and locks in a price which may make your customers disinclined to buy. Web exclusive products, particularly from a single website, also precludes international sales. I got this second hand from a store called AmiAmi which does sell used products but it also just increases your secondary market prices so I think it's a bad idea but that's just me. But as you can see, Uva here is green and covered in insectoid-like bits. Gr wings, mandibles, and various other bits. I really like his design. It's pretty cool. I also happen to really like insects, so there you have it. He comes with four extra hands, including a uh, set with the little clip here for his little forearm claw here which is removable. It comes with a stand, though I haven't assembled it because I used one of the other greed stands before. But as this little clamp part, which I haven't taken out yet, as well as this clear plastic base. And two little plastic sets of core metals, which you can stand on the side and make it look like he's basically standing in core metals. A pretty decent little thing. Uva also happened to be the last of the original Greeds, aside from Ankh, to be killed off. He got absorbed into this giant machine made of core metals and cell metals that Dr. Maki, as the purple Greed, created. It was kind of ignominious because Uva had been basically the brute of the group. Pretty much just a fighter, but he did plan a bit. He wasn't the mindless dimwit that Gamal was, the Silver Greed. Overall, it was kind of sad to see him die, but then again, I didn't like seeing any of the Greeds just get killed off, though that's what happens when you're a villain in a Kamen Rider series. Death is frequently your only option, especially in some of the more modern ones. I can't think of many of the monsters or people who utilize the devices that turn you into monsters that have survived much in recent series. Overall, he's a good design. One thing with the greed of this series is they kind of remind me of more monstrous versions of the Power Rangers. Especially with their little buckle here, which is black and without its gold center when they don't have all nine of their core metals, but looks kind of like a more primitive version of the driver from Kamen Rider Black or the Power Ranger Morpher in many ways. And since their original colors, including Ankh, are red, green, blue, silver, and yellow, they could just form an evil Sentai group with Dr. Maki even being their sixth man. Either way, it's a definite positive figure. Lack of extra option parts for this is disappointing, but understandable since they, when he fights, he's usually not in his complete form, and most of what they do in the series, they do in their human forms, unless they're in a fight. So it's really not that big a deal. Overall, it's a definite must if you're a fan of the Greed or Common Rider O's. So I definitely give it a plus on that. Anyway, please like and subscribe, comment below, share this video, and check out some of my other videos. I've got even more. And I'm also on Twitter if anyone wants to give me a comment or chat there. The link is below in the description. And I'll see you guys next time. Ciao!